everybody. Uh, I'm Roy from Alien Roy Group and I'm here with Jim Mullen and we just played a wonderful gig. Th thanks Jim. Thanks for being My here. My pleasure Roy. Oh, thank you. Um, so uh, we thought uh, perhaps a couple of questions to you. Uh, the classic question to every musician is how do you began with, with playing guitar, playing music? Uh, good question. Um, I think uh, I think my mother actually was a big influence because she used to sing around the house all day long, you know. So when I stopped asking her to stop singing, you know, I kind of started to learn some of the songs that she was singing. And then, I, then I got interested in trying to play them. I got a little guitar when I was a kid. And uh, it really just went from there. Then I met an older friend. I guess I was about eight years old. I met an older friend who was maybe 15 or 16. He had a, a jazz guitar, an arch top and he introduced me to jazz. And from that moment on, I'm just trying to understand what this music is doing. You know, it sounded like music from Mars to me, but I began to figure it out and play. And then I, I had a career when I left school, I became a journalist. And I worked for newspapers in Scotland, my home. Okay. And then uh, I moved, I decided to try and be a musician. So I moved from Glasgow in Scotland to London and while there, I met Brian Auger. Uh, that was the second question I wanted to ask okay. you. How it was that you met Brian Auger? <laughs> the wonderful Brian Auger. Brian, yeah. uh, I already knew about Brian because he was a jazz pianist before yeah, he became course. the organist. And uh, I also knew the guitarist who was in his band, Gary Boyle. And uh, I met uh, on a flight to Sicily with Brian one Sicily. time. Yeah, a festival. And I said, hi, Brian, uh, how is he say hi to Gary Boyle for me, his previous guitarist. He said, oh, Gary has left the band. And I said, oh, well, if you're looking for a guitarist, may I try audition? He said, yeah, sure. So we auditioned when we got back to London. And he said, yeah, come and join the band. So, so joining uh, Brian was, was also taking me into Italy because wow. Brian was already a big star in Italy. Yeah. So we used to do four tours a year. Yeah. Summer tours, winter tours, autumn tours, spring tours. Fantastic. I fell in love with Italy, you know. Yeah. And Brian is now 82, I think, or 83, and he's just brought out a three-album box set. Okay. Well, he's got three. There's a three-album box set which has just come out. With all the all the recordings of that era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. And the the even pictures the of best me. Era. Pictures of me with hair. <laughs> down, you know, crazy hair, you know, but uh, no, Brian was always a wonderful musician and uh, he was the most honest band leader I think I ever met. Really? He remortgaged his house to keep the band on the road. Really? I don't know anybody else that ever did that oh. because he was so uh, supportive of the band. Most guys would say, sorry man, go, oh, please go away, we have no work, I'm not paying you any money. Yeah. Not Brian, he kept us going. And uh, we had a wonder. Yeah, he's a great guy, a great musician. And actually, I saw him about two years ago. He came to London, and but his he's not uh, living in London. No, no, he lives in California. Ah, he sorry. lives in uh, Santa Monica. Ah, Santa Monica. And uh, he uh, he was in London. His guitar player became ill and had to fly back to L.A. And uh, I. I, uh, the guy, or oh, somebody, uh, his, his son plays drums in the band Karma, uh -huh. and he contacted him and said, "Would you like to come along and uh, sit in?" I said, "Yes, yeah, sure." So I went along to the gig, and uh, I ended up playing on the whole gig, as opposed to just sitting in, you know. So uh, some of the songs was some of the songs I had written actually in the you band. Have written. Yeah, you know, we played like one on the road. We just yeah, played. We played one tonight. Yeah, you know, so. It was a it was a wonderful moment for me because I have very happy memories of working with Brian Auger, and he's still a wonderful, power, powerful, life force when Fantastic. he plays. You know, 
And, and he, the whole thing is... Uh, and he, I think he, he knows a little Italian because oh, yeah, I yeah. Have, uh, he sings sing, things in Italian. He's a, he, <laughs> he speaks many languages. German, French, oh, really? Italian, wow. Russian. Wow. We went to Russia, he learned Russian. He was Fantastic guy. Yeah, yeah fantastic great guy. Fantastic. And he used to do all the driving when we were on the road, you know, wow. he was... It was just full of energy, you know, yeah, and he's still doing it. It's incredible, you know. Incredible. So, and uh, <laughs> you just anticipated me in the <laughs> the next in question. The next question was what, which um, thing in your career you have played with so many important uh, bands, uh, just uh, the, the the average white band and Jimmy Smith, and so if you remember one uh, particular one one situation well, that well, stands out somehow. <laughs> There are many, actually. We would be here forever. Four, four, four. But one of them was a great American piano player called Gene Harris. <laughs> okay. The Three Sounds. Um, I mean, the wonderful swinging. Okay, yeah. Bluesy swinging. I mean, it, it was a great, great experience, you know. He never, ever told me what song we were going to play. Really? Never. We had no set list. Not he would just start playing. Fortunately, I knew all the songs that he played, and uh, there's some very nice video footage on uh, where is it on uh, Amazon or YouTube? Yeah, if you uh, if you look for um, Gene Harris to make a, at, at, a the, at the yeah, it's yeah, from it the Bern Jazz Festival, and it's okay. something like '96. I mean, Gene is dead now, but uh, that was a fantastic experience play. But I hope there are still some fantastic experiences to come, of course. because I'm still involved. Of you know. Course. I have a new album to make, uh, hopefully before the end of the year, and uh, I'm kind of excited about that. So music keeps your mind alive. Absolutely. And, uh, Absolutely. and I love to play. Absolutely. I like to play, so thank you for having me play with your band tonight. No. It was very kind, and uh, I really enjoyed thank it. Thank you for, for accepting our, <laughs> yeah. our, our You're welcome. somehow uh, experience, our, our <laughs> band. And so, and so uh, the last question, we don't make it too long. We, uh, it's have to go bed <laughs> and uh, the plans for future you just anticipate me another time you say i used to be a journalist i anticipate questions <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah like i say i have a new album to make i also have an organ trio in london okay you know uh, guitar organ and drums and we have a festival to play next weekend on the isle of white okay where they have the pop festival we were playing on the jazz festival and uh and i'm going to denmark to make a record with a American organist called Ben Patterson okay. in uh, in October, and Zoe and I have some gigs and uh, yeah, just keep trying to keep working, you know, keep the music flowing, keep alive. Yeah, that's <laughs> so. And okay, now we stop here eh? because we, we, if we start, we, we, we can go, go hours. All night, yeah, all night. Yeah. And thanks, Jim Mullen, for being here for have playing. We are uh, here in in. Near Florence, Italy, and yeah. so very hot today. Yes. And we now we say bye bye. Thanks okay. again, and my pleasure. Ciao. Nice working with you. Thank you.